Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install the Twilight menu onto your 2DS or 3DS with custom firmware and launch Nintendo DS games from your SD card. So all you really need is a 3DS or 2DS with custom firmware installed. You must have an SD card, um, so just go ahead and take it out, connect it to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Now I will leave three links in the description of this video. The first link will just be how to dump um, Nintendo DS cartridges into ROMs. This is what I use to get my ROM for this video. So I will leave a link in the description if you want to find that out. And it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your ROMs from. But this is how to back them up officially. There will be two other links in the description where you will need to download these files. This is the TWI Lite menu. We will need to download this. So just click on the 7-zip. Um, this is updated quite frequently. As as you can see last updated 20 hours ago so just download this one the second link will be at the launcher we will need the menu and the launcher to get this thing working so we also just want to click on this and then that will start downloading so once you have downloaded these two files you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find all of your files in here. So here is my ROM which I backed up off my cartridge this is Goosebumps Horrorland and then here are the two files which I need so get these two files here, right click and then simply select extract here. Now just wait for this to complete, it shouldn't take too long. And it's basically going to give us a ton of files. Now there's only a few files which we actually need to copy across. So what you guys want to do is just copy exactly as I do. Get the two zip files, right click and just delete them. We don't need them anymore. And basically we want to cut this file right here. The TWI Lite Menu Plus Plus Launcher CIA. We want to drag and drop this in the CIA folder. Now we want to find our ROM. Here is my Goosebumps Horrorland ROM. We want to drag and drop this into the ROMs folder. Now we want to um, select certain files. We want to grab this one and underscore NDS. Make sure you're holding control and you can select multiple at the same time. We're going to select CIA folder and we're going to select the ROMs folder. So make sure you have these three selected, underscore NDS, CIA and ROMs. And we're just going to drag and drop this on the root of our 3DS's SD card. Now just wait a few seconds to copy across. If it needs to replace any files, um, just let it do it. You might have like an older version of this installed maybe, um, but let's just give this a few seconds just to copy across. Okay, so once it is done, that is literally it for the PC. There is also this 3DSX file. This is if you want to run it off the Homebrew channel rather than installing the CIA. Um, you can do that, but it's just recommended to install the CIA anyway. So now let's disconnect our SD card from our PC, put it back into our 3DS, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so back off your PC, we can now simply put back in our SD card and then just go ahead and turn on our 3DS. Okay guys, so now we need to launch up FBI because we need to install the CIs which we put into the CIA folder. So let's just go ahead, find FBI and then just press A to open it up. When it loads, we need to select the SD card, so press A. Scroll down until you find the CIA folder and press A on it. Now where it says current directory at the top, you have to press A on that. And you need to use the second option, install and delete all CIAs. What this is going to do is install them and then remove them off your SD card. You can just choose the top option if you wish to keep them as well. Um, let's just choose the bottom one though, because I want to delete them, so I save a bit of space. So let's press X on this, I mean A, and then A again, and then just give it a few seconds, and it will install and delete the files afterwards. Once it has finished, it will say install finished. You can just tap on it. Press B to go back all the way to the main menu, and then just press start to exit. It will say new software has been added to the home menu. Tap on OK, and let's go and find the software. So let's just press A to unwrap it. It won't be multiple on your screen. It's going to compile them all into one CIA, just like this. And we can just press um, A to open it. So it might come up the homebrew um, menu just like this, but it will boot up with the TWL menu or Twilight menu, whatever you want to call it really. So what we can do is we can just, um, you can tap the arrow here and you can change like boot screens and stuff. I'd leave it how it is. You want to just tap start the Twilight menu plus plus. Now it's going to start uh, just like it would on like a normal DS. So you can just tap the screen. 
Now this is actually a lot faster on new 3DS or maybe the 2DS XL, I'm not too sure about that, but on the newer Nintendo DS consoles, um, this does run a lot faster. This is the first ever DS they made, or well, 3DS they made, so this one is going to be slightly slower. Okay, so it's going to come up just like this, and it just looks like a really sort of weird um, DS GUI. But what we want to do is just select the grayed out option. So make sure you're on the top bit right here, and just press on A. Next, we need to scroll along, and we're looking for our ROMs folder. So, it should be here somewhere. And you have to scroll down. Here you go, ROMs folder. So press A to start that up. And now we're looking for our... NDS folder right here, or if you just copied across your game, um, you will be able to find it, so here's Goosebumps. If I go into NDS, I'm pretty sure I had some other stuff in here. Oh yeah, I've got Mario games in here anyway. Um, but let's put the one that I backed up recently, the Goosebumps one. Let's just start that up. So find your game and just press A, and then it should start up. Now, if your game is stuck on a white screen, um, what you have to do is give it two minutes maximum. Okay, so now my game has finally loaded and I'm able to play it. So the games run perfectly fine. Um, as I said before, this is much better on the new 3DS. Um, sound works as well if I turn up the volume of it. You will be able to hear it and there isn't any kind of delay or anything in the volume. So yeah, you can play the game perfectly fine, just like normal. We can do story mode. Um, the only really long thing is just like booting it up first time, um, which is kind of weird, but I guess it makes sense. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.